I'm here with someone who I've admired for many, many years. Just a top general guy, uh, Mr. Leon Davis, and fantastic champion. How are you getting on? I'm very well, yeah, very well. Looking forward to uh, what seems like should be a good afternoon. Plenty of people here, and uh, hopefully I uh, get her an award, maybe. <laughs> well, we just spoke to Tyler Denny, and he, he quite humbly said, I think Liam Davis should win this. Do you think you've done enough to, to win Fighter of the Year for this, for this, this year for the British Box Border Control? Yeah, maybe. It's, uh, all the lads are done well nominated. you got Echo Esserman and uh, Tyler, so I wouldn't grumble if I didn't win it, but like I said, it'd be nice to win it, wouldn't it? <laughs> it would. It'd not, there's something else on your mantelpiece, mate. So, so what's next for you then? So the 29th of July, five weeks yesterday, back in my hometown of Telford, fighting Jason Cunningham. All my belts on the line and... Um, Another big fight. The guy's had 40 odd fights. Decent fighter, and um, hopefully, like I say, it's my 14th fight, and um, hopefully, I can get a world title shot after this one. Jason Cunningham, it's hard, it's, I think it'd be quite hard to train for. He's an unusual type of fighter, and he's come from nothing to be. He's won that many belts in, in different weight categories. So, is he someone that you absolutely can't overlook? Is he a potential banana skin, or do you feel he's going to run? You're going to run through him. I feel like I'm better than any of these guys in the country. I feel like I'm top dog and um, just about proving it. Saturday the 29th of July, I will show that. Amazing. Um, on to, I wouldn't say rival, but people who've been on your, on your lips uh, now and again is Dennis McCann, who's fighting Baluta, um, who I know you know very well. So do you feel that's a banana skin for Dennis McCann? Uh, it's a tough fight. Do you know my honest feeling? I got a feeling that the fight won't happen. Okay. I, that's what I think. I just, you know, when you have a gut feeling about something, it's a big risk. And um, like I say, I've been in there with Baluta. I believe McCann can win for sure. I hope he does come through it. Uh, keeps our big fight alive. But um, I got a good feel. I got a weird feeling that I wouldn't be surprised if it didn't happen. Okay. Is that based on anything? Just a lot of pressure on him, isn't there? Um, a lot of pressure to look good in the fight. A lot of pressure. Balut is going to bring a lot of pressure. And, um, yeah, I just got a weird feeling. I don't know why. I hope it does go ahead. And, like I say, I'll be tuning in watching. But, um, yeah, that's just my gut feeling. This, I've, I've seen a noticeable change in you over the last year or two, for confidence-wise. I, I don't know what it is. You just seem to have really come into your own. And just... I don't, I don't know, it's hard to explain. You're just so confident now, and I love it. You can see it kind of radiates from you. Where does this come from? Where does this newfound confidence come from? I'm sure you've always been confident, yeah, yeah. but I just feel now you're like, listen, I'm, I'm going for the stars here. That's it. Uh, it's obviously come with wins, experience, and um, I just still feel like I've got plenty more to show, and like I say, I can't see any of these guys beating me. I'm, I train like a challenger, and um, I perform like a true champion, and... I deserve everything that's coming to me. I work harder than any of these guys. I believe I'm better than any of these guys. And um, some people just say it's cocky. I'm not cocky. I just got that mad, crazy belief. And like you said, it has come on. Yes. And um, maybe it's come with age, the experience in the ring, out the ring. And uh, yeah, dream, believe, achieve. And um, that's how I roll now. I absolutely love that. They talk, I'm all about that life, the manifestation. This is where I'm going to be. And I do the same thing all the time. Honestly, massive amount of love and respect to you. And I hope you do reach the stars, mate. Thanks for, thanks for speaking Thank to you. me, man.